School tells you what to learn, but Matt DeMeo shows you how to learn it. Now in his fifth decade of producing attention getting results, speaker, trainer, Guinness World Record certificate holder, author of a number one bestseller on Amazon, and recipient of YouTube Silver Play Button Award, Matt DeMeo is the creator of the popular YouTube channel, Be Smarter Faster. He teaches techniques, strategies, and mental tricks that speed up your ability to learn whatever you like. These skills have helped millions of students and have gained him an enthusiastic worldwide audience. His channel has attracted over 200,000 subscribers and millions of views. Often called the enter trainer for his dynamic and humorous approach, Matt's philosophy is to laugh and learn your way to success. Since 1980, Matt has continued to research, teach, and publish the very best tips, tactics, and techniques that enable students of every age to learn anything and everything faster and easier. Adults seeking to pass professional licensing exams and companies striving for improved customer service and higher sales numbers would do well to employ his strategies. Living up to the adage of practice what you preach, Matt is known for his ability to recall the names of everyone in his audience, even when there are hundreds. Over his career, Matt has spoken on stage to hundreds of thousands of people and to audiences as large as 10,000 attendees. He's performed at some North America's most prestigious venues, including Caesars Palace and the Paris Las Vegas, Every Fisher Hall, and Lincoln Center, the Toronto Convention Center, New York's Waldorf Astoria, Nassau Coliseum, and even at the Superdome. Now, allow me to share with you the experience you've been waiting for with the one and only Matt DeMeo. Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of the M.E. Show. Ali Madawi here, your strategic partner. And my goodness, if I tell you the gift that I have for you, the exclusive that I have for you, I mean, the world pays a whole lot of money. And he's been in so many different places around the world that he's spoken on. The people are fighting over his attention and you have him exclusively for you right here and right now. And he's bringing so many different elements. I know you saw the bio and the intro. I know you saw how amazing and incredible this gentleman is, but we're going to be talking about his brand new album, Learning Machine Music That Motivates. We're going to be talking about everything that he's done, that he is doing and continue to do forever and ever because he is a legacy maker and I am forever grateful and privileged to bring before you for the very first time and not the last, the one, the only Matt DeMeo. What's going on, boss? How are you doing today? Really, really well, Ali. Thank you. What a what a nice introduction. I meant <laughs> every blushing. single word of it. I meant every single word of it. Well, first and foremost, thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving us this opportunity to collaborate, work together, and showcase to our audience and, of course, many audiences across the world um, your new project and your gift. So uh, why don't we uh, dive right in? First and foremost, um, it is important to let everybody know you may be in Florida, but you are a Jersey boy. I'm originally from Nutley, New Jersey, which is North Jersey. And then uh, from there, I moved to the Caribbean island of Trinidad, which is where my wife is originally from, lived there for a few years, became a, a well-known musician, actually performed for the prime minister of the country on a few occasions. Our daughter was born to us there, and then we didn't want to raise her in a third world country. So we moved back here to the United States, settled in beautiful Florida, in the, actually in the Fort Lauderdale area, before moving here to Tampa. That's phenomenal. Now, you were at one point at... Uh, your career in many different careers. It's fascinating, by the way, Bayou, that you have. Uh, you were part of a band and you've actually made your own rock and roll 
heavy metal, uh, uh, many cultivated ways, if you want to call it, depending on the genre and the age bracket that was judging the music itself. But you were a musician full throttle on your own, correct? Well, uh, absolutely. First of all, I started playing piano when I was only eight years old. And then, I, uh, you know, in high school, I played in a really popular band. And uh, even back then, we were getting paid for gigs. I put my music on the side for a, a number of years. And then uh, when I moved to the island of Trinidad, um, I really resurrected a lot of the music. And I wound up playing a lot of genres of music that we just don't really pay attention to here in the United States. Uh, uh, you know, Trinidad is an, is an unbelievably musical place. And so I performed with many of the well-known artists from the island, even in the uh, local, local type of music like soca and uh, things of that nature. Moving back to the United States, I went back to my roots. I'm a, a primarily a hard rock, blues rock type player. Uh, I'm mostly an organist rather than a piano player, but I like really hard rock organ. Think old Deep Purple. For those of you that are in in my age category, and it's funny. Uh, really made a, a reputation for myself here in the Tampa Bay area. It, it sounds timeless to tell you the truth, and 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 it's interesting that even from the music perspective, you also have multiple layers, right? The, the keyboard and to rock to organ. I mean. You do everything and everything that you are doing, which is fascinating. So let's talk about it. You know, for a, a, a Jersey individual to uh, have had a, 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 an exciting career in music, whether it was uh, piano, uh, rock and roll, um, how does an individual, uh, and that individual is you, just release, and by the way, this is available now in all streaming platforms, learning machine music that motivates and you made a whole album that is focusing on positivity and affirmation for listeners from all ages what motivates one to just kind of go to that direction well i have really two great uh great business loves the first one is i have been teaching strategies to students to help them improve their their reading speed test taking skills, listening, focus and concentration. And I have a, a slogan, school tells you what to learn, Matt DeMeo shows you how to learn it. And I'll explain more about that a little bit later. But my second great love, which is something that I've been doing, as I mentioned, since I was a little boy, is music. And I have been, you know, on stage or presenting or performing uh, in everything from family parties all the way up to concert level type stuff as a, as a musician for, for quite a long time. And so I found a way to combine these two ideas together. And I have music that is deliberately created to inspire and motivate somebody. You know, positive mental affirmations People know that they work, but they're but they're hesitant to do them or they rarely do them because it's tedious and boring to recite a bunch of stuff you've got written down over and over. But a catchy song is very easy to get stuck in your head. And so I thought, what a great way to get and stay motivated by implanting catchy lyrics that really inspire and motivate and, and capture the idea of belief in yourself, dedication, focus, determination, and positive attributes that we that many of us all aspire to. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a matter of fact. You you took the words out of my mouth. I I know for a fact. Sometimes even songs that I might not like. I find myself in a car repeating them or a catchy commercial, you know, tune that, you know, pa -da -pa -pa -pa, and, you know, you're like, what am I doing? What am I? I don't even <laughs> like McDonald's. Right. So it's fascinating how you were able to tap into that side of the brain. Talk to me about that decision. Was it uh, I know you said it was deliberate, but what, what was the light bulb or aha moment that you said, you know what, I'm going to write a album and uh, can I have it replaced or. I guess, enhance the idea of affirmations. When, when, when was the moment? Like, where were you? Was it just something that you were thinking about and planning on for years? Or was it like a, a split of a second? It, really, of it really was a light bulb moment. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, on my YouTube channel, 
I was uh, creating and publishing a video about how to read three times faster. And I was giving specific tips that will uh, and strategies that eliminate what causes somebody to read slowly. And as I was going through the research to create the video, I came across information about the music that students would listen to. And certain music is good to listen to and certain music is really bad if you want to read and retain and read for speed. So if you're uh, reading, uh, uh, if you're really reading stuff that's very detailed, you don't want to be listening to music that is lyric intensive. You want more background music. And so I was looking at classical strings and there's something called lo-fi music, you know, that, that f uh, functions as background kind of a, a sound soundscape. But I decided to create my own classical string album, 25 minutes long, and another one on what's called lo-fi music. For those that are not familiar with the term, it is low fidelity music that is deliberately recorded with little flaws. You'll hear uh, background noises or a hiss, or maybe some notes are played wrong, and it's become extremely popular for students that there's entire YouTube channels dedicated to this lo-fi music. Now, at the same time that I was looking into creating music, I have been studying artificial intelligence. And I began to look for how I could create long uh, uh, album length pieces of music using AI. And so I created a series of lo-fi songs, edited them down to 25 minutes and created a playlist. And I chose 25 minutes because there's something called the Pomodoro technique or the Pomodoro method, where instead of studying for two or three hours at a time, you study in chunks. 25 minutes, take a 10 minute break, study for another 25 minutes. So I thought, well, I'm going to make my music a timer. So the music itself runs for 25 minutes. At the end of it, you can take your 10 minute break and then play it again. Now the lo-fi music is really the kind of thing that you can listen to over and over again. Personally, I don't care for lo-fi music. However, I like classical music. So out of all of the different things that you can listen to to improve your study skills, classical music, especially music that's heavy on strings, seems to get the best results based on research. So I created my own 25 minute long classical strings album using artificial intelligence. That, me, by the way, go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I was going to say that, that, um, seeing how the world that we are living in right now is fueled with AI. And unfortunately, a lot of people are using it the wrong way. Most people use chat GPT as a Google search. <laughs> they don't even know how to use it the proper way. Kudos to you for using what many don't know how to use. And many others are against completely because of the lack of understanding or ignorance for the lack of better words. Um, you know, kudos to you for, for using it for something that is innovative and something that is creative, but more importantly, that I believe is needed in the world that we are living in right now. Even, even so the, the titles of the songs that you have picked, not only they're, they're so powerful, you know, the, 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 the I believe in myself though, uh, I, I refuse to lose, uh, uh the, the, the will the, to win, the will to win, right? Like <laughs> these, these are very, very powerful, um, uh, titles that just hearing that gives you a little bit of that dopamine that you need to wake up and get yourself where you need to go. So I would love to hear the creative juice on what inspired you to kind of create these titles uh, for, for these songs as well. And, 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 and a little bit with your permission, I would love to kind of play a couple of, um, you know, uh, uh, pieces of these tracks as well. But, but please talk to me about these uh, uh, titles of these tracks. So here's the connection. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a great lead in because here I was creating lo-fi music and classical strings and it, 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 it's great music, but it's not what my background is. It's not what personally lights me up inside. And like I said, I've, I've been a, a performing musician working under the, the stage name of Zed Maestro 
And I've had the, the uh, good fortune to have been on the bill with many famous nationally known and internationally known acts. Never got to be in one of those acts myself, but uh, being on the bill kind of satisfied the longings that I had ever since I was a teenager to do that type of stuff. And so I've, I've had an opportunity to do that in my 50s and 60s. I'm 72 years old now. And so when I was looking at something that I wanted to create that satisfied my soul, I said, if I was going to create anything for students to really help them out, I wanted to do something that would really get them motivated because one of the most common comments I get on my YouTube channel, Be Smarter Faster, is I just don't feel like studying. I can't get myself to do it. I can't get myself motivated to do the stuff I know I need to do. And I'm sure it's not just students. I've had that problem. You probably have too. Many of your viewers and listeners have had the same issue. You just can't get yourself into gear. So yeah. I said, well, what if I combine music with a really positive message? And so I, I, I was looking at the start of school. And so my first song on this project was called Schools In kind of a wink and a nod to the old Alice Cooper song, School's Out, where the, the singer is happy that school's done for the year. I wanted to do something where school is starting for the year, and they're really? excited about seeing their friends and getting back into class and learning all this cool new stuff. And so that was the first song that kind I of do got have to into say, the idea. My, my kid's favorite song of the whole album, just so you know, it's like uh, it, it become a ritual whenever we're in the car and like my phone is in the, uh, connected, it's automatic. Uh, Papa, can you please put schools in? So it's a it's an anthem in our house. Just just so you know. So kudos for you on that. That that makes me feel great. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, well, we'll, we'll have to get some videos. <laughs> The reaction I got to schools in from sending it out to a few people, and I began to send it out to college radio stations at the beginning of the new school semester. And the reaction that I got really encouraged me. And so I said, you know what? I think I may be on to something here. And so I wound up creating a, a song that is my personal favorite on the album. It's called I Believe in Myself. And rather than sticking with just one musical genre, I wanted to explore various aspects of rock music. Now, I didn't get into jazz and, and, and uh, too much hip hop. I do have a couple of songs that are very hip hop sounding uh, or rap sounding. But my, my background, my roots are rock, especially high energy rock. Not heavy metal so much, but the, the old classic hard rock type of stuff, stuff with a, a good four on the floor driving sound. But I, I didn't want to just do one genre. So on my album, I've got stuff that pays tribute to like a ZZ Top type sound, kind of a Southern rock uh, uh, attitude. I've got two songs that are fronted by female singers, one of which is I Believe in Myself, which really is a hard driving number, but because it's fronted by a chick singer, I'm telling you, it smokes. The other one that I did with a female singer was really focused to be a little bit softer, and that's called Determination Drive. Um, but I paid attention to what's popular these days with the, the, the rap. So I have a song, Study Grind, which is really kind of a uh, almost a red hot chili peppers or a um, um, rap rock type of a, a song. I refuse to lose is again in that kind of a, a genre. But most people, their reaction to the album, it seems to be that their favorite is the will to win, which is anthemic. The, it's, these songs have really strong hooks, but I've got other songs like uh, Learning Machine. Uh, if you didn't know better, you might think that it was done by ACDC. Yeah. And, and so what I did was I tried to en encapsulate a many different subgenres of rock without going full, you know, heavy metal hardcore, because that yeah. really uh, 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 appeals to only mostly 
testosterone laden teenage <laughs> males. <laughs> but, Why don't we do this? We, we, with your permission, would you would you mind if we play a little piece of "I Believe in Myself" just to kind of get a little bit of an insight of the album itself? And uh, so uh, we're gonna play a, a you know a, a quick snippet of "I Believe in Myself." I'm not playing the whole thing because you gotta buy it if you want it. But <laughs> let me uh, get this snippet for you, and uh, we'll be right back to chat about it. So That was phenomenal. Talk about walking down in a road that is so rough. I mean, just a starting entry point to a song. And uh, there's a lot of artistic ability in that guitar keys that is from the very beginning going crazy, crazy, crazy. So talk to me about the creative juice on putting that together. So working with AI really allowed me a lot of personal expressiveness. And so I was able to really stop and think about, and let me tell you, it was a lot of trial and error getting this to come out the way I wanted. There were so many failures. But part of the way I'm made up, you know, my YouTube channel, Be Smarter Faster, I'm talking about, you know, forcing yourself and pushing yourself to continue to learn things. Well, here I am at the age of 72, exploring a completely new method of creating music. So I'm, a, I'm doing what I can to walk the talk, to practice what I preach, that here at my age, uh, experimenting and, and slugging it out <laughs> with this new technology, has really been an eye opener. Earlier, you mentioned that uh, AI is a little bit controversial, and I, I agree that. But it, but it's like any tool. Uh, I look at AI like it's fire. Fire is great to have in your fireplace and to keep you warm and to cook your food. It's terrible if it's burning your house down. <laughs> and so. AI is like any other tool. It can be used for a lot of good, but it can also be misused. And, um, you know, you can take the good with the bad, the rose with the thorns. Yeah. Yeah, I, I uh, totally believe that. Uh, let's talk about the, you know, in business, we say ICA, ideal client avatar, right? So let's talk about the ideal listener for this album. Is this for students? Is this for adults? Is this for professionals? Is this for uh, anyone really? Uh, talk to me about the ideal listener of uh, this album. Well, the, with the nice list that you just um, uh, mentioned, uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so... I originally created it for students, but I also have a significant audience of adult learners. Many of them are professionals that are seeking additional certification or they're changing careers or they just want to improve their, their job situation. So I have a lot of adults that are either going back to school or that want to increase their certifications or the nature of the profession that they're in requires them to get certified every, every year. And so um, being that I am an adult learner myself, you know, obviously I gravitate to doing things that are going to help people of all different ages. So I like to talk about, you know, my stuff appeals from grade school to grad school and everything in between. And so I didn't have a specific avatar that I was just aiming it at, but anybody who is interested in self-motivation, self-education, uh, self-improvement, that's really the, the market for this. And that's a, I think that's a pretty darn big market. Yeah, no, I, I love that. And um, I, I feel like if my seven-year-old, four-year-old were jamming to, the, the 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 album if i catch myself just 
bumping my heads and repeating the lyrics. And I, I think anybody uh, really uh, uh, can not only enjoy it, but relate to the lyrics itself. Um, let's do this. You've mentioned the fire earlier. You were talking about like, hey, fire can burn you or can cook. So why don't we go ahead and listen? I have another uh, song on the playlist in here. Let's listen for another 60 seconds of focus on fire. Um, and then uh, we're going to uh, take a quick break, allow you to get some water. And for those of you who are driving, uh, please do not touch the, the dial. Just we'll be right back. We, we don't want you to do anything that is not appropriate while you're driving. But we're going to listen to a little bit of Focus on Fire, a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with the one and only Matt DeMaio. You know how easy it is for a catchy song to get stuck in your head? Well, imagine high energy, upbeat music with lyrics that are specifically designed and crafted to inspire and motivate you. I'm proud to announce a real breakthrough in personal motivation. My new album, Learning Machine, music that motivates. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. For decades, I also worked as a professional rock keyboard player under the stage name Zed Maestro. I've performed on the bill with many internationally known acts. Using the latest technology, I've created this exciting new 10-track album with titles like I Believe in Myself, Focus on Fire, The Will to Win, and I Refuse to Lose. Those tracks, along with the others, were created to help students of all ages, from grade school to grad school. Even adult learners who are seeking professional certifications or just personal self-improvement. These songs will light a fire inside you as you sing these musical, positive, mental affirmations to yourself effortlessly and automatically. You can literally sing your way to a happier, more productive, and very successful new version of yourself. Get and stay motivated and inspired with Learning Machine, music that motivates. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Ali Midawi, your strategic partner here at the ME Show. And uh, we're back with the one and only Matt DeMeo as uh, we are promoting the album Learning Machine Music That Motivates. And uh, if you're wondering, we were listening uh, uh, right before the commercial break to Focus on Fire. And I got to say, that had a little bit more oomph into it. In other words, it reminded me a little bit of Metallica Fuel. <laughs> give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire, right? It was more energetic. Um, so in, in an age or an era right now, specifically, Matt, that there's a lot of content creators out there, a lot of motivational speakers. Everybody wants to teach you about the law of attraction and the law of vibration, right? And there's a lot of creative ways to deliver the positive manifestation information and so on and so forth. How does this album sit out or stand out against the noise that is out there? Well, first of all, this is a, a, a really different approach to getting and staying motivated. I don't know anybody else that has really come up with a deliberate plan to create music that has a such a is engineered uh, with such a specific focus as to motivate and inspire students. And so the idea, as I said earlier, is it's very easy for a, a catchy song to get stuck in your head. And what I've done is I've made it easy to learn the lyrics to all of these. There's 10 songs on the album. And what I, in addition to having high quality audio, I also have created 10 lyric videos so that you can kind of read along and sing along. And I've also created a PDF, a custom PDF with all of the lyrics printed out, uh, against the backdrop that I used for the lyric videos. So it allows a person 
to take a look and, and read along or sing along with it. And then once the lyrics are in your head, I think even you mentioned it before, you'll catch yourself just singing this stuff. No lie. At, uh, when, you, when you feel the need to. And so yeah. when you're a little bit down, when you're a little bit low energy, we all have challenges. We all have stuff that doesn't go our way. And we all need some mental vitamins, a little mental pick-me-up. This helps you plow through all of the, the noise and the chatter and, and get the job done. Yeah, no, I, I, I believe it wholeheartedly. You, you've been a lifelong musician and an educator, and it's fair to say that those are extreme passions of yours. How does this album allow you to, to express or communicate those very two passions? And is it fair to state that those two passions have created this album? Well, let me, let me take you back uh, a, a little ways because... You know, we didn't really go into any of uh, how I got into all of this stuff in the first place. I mentioned that I've been playing, you know, piano and keyboards and I was an organist in a high school band. And so the music part has been there a long time from the time that I was a kid. But it wasn't until 1980 that I started looking into and doing research on all this stuff about how to learn things faster. And here's the genesis of that. I was running a chain of computer programming schools. I started there in July of 1979. By the way, that's two full years before IBM released its first PC. In 1979 and 1980, nobody had computers in their homes. Personal computers was something that only a few nerds had. IBM would release its first personal computer in August of 81. And so I was running a chain of computer programming schools that had a problem, and that is we had a high dropout rate. Now, we were, I was looking for a way to solve that problem. So I began to research what makes somebody a good student, and I found so much content out there that really surprised me. Stuff on how do you read a textbook differently than the way you read a novel. How do you read faster than you ever did before? How do you focus and concentrate? How do you take notes better? How do you pay attention? I, I, I mentioned this before that I have a catchphrase. School tells you what to learn, but I show you how to learn it. Let mm -hmm. me explain what I mean. Have you ever had one of your parents or a teacher wag their finger at you and say, pay attention when I talk to you. Stop daydreaming. Listen to me. Take notes. Prepare for the exam. Of course. But did you ever take one single formal class in how to be a better listener, in mm. how to take notes, in how to focus and concentrate, on how to prepare for exams? Probably not. And I was so surprised that there was so much information on this subject that I began to teach a 90 minute long class at my computer school called What School Never Taught You About Learning. Not only did I reduce my dropout rate, but I dramatically increased the job placement rate of our graduates because when they went on an interview, they actually knew what they were talking about. Mm. That's when the magic happened. I began to get calls from the companies who hired our graduates wondering how come our students outperformed students that graduated from other schools or students that they had hired from my school in the past. And the students had concocted a, a, uh, a, a nickname for me and they called me Matt the Memory Man. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, it was kind of cute, but eventually it became impossible to live up to because nobody has a perfect memory, although I was accused of having one. <laughs> and I began to get invited to do after dinner speaking engagements at professional groups like the Data Processing Managers Association or the Association of Systems Managers. So the DPMA was the first group to hire me. And then the ASM didn't, you know, they got jealous of the DPMA. And what wound up happening was I would go in and I would do after dinner speaking engagements where essentially I was the entertainment after they had their business meeting. 
and I would do memory stunts. I would do feats of mental power. So I would hand out uh, the same, I would hand out 20 copies of the same Time or Newsweek magazine back in the 80s. It, it you know, it was 100, 200, 200 pages long. These days it's like a pamphlet. <laughs> and, and people would say, okay, what, what's the article on page 162? What's the, what's the advertisement in the centerfold? And, and so I would do stunts like that, or I would memorize a deck of playing cards and people would say, okay, what's three cards down from the ace of spades? Or I would close every meeting by saying, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for making me feel so very welcome. As I call off your name, please stand up. And I would go around the room, starting in the back corner. I'd say, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, John. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Sammy. And I would go around the room and call everybody by name. I always got a standing ovation because they were all standing. And that is a stunt that I have been doing all for, for, for decades and decades. And it really helped me build a record. With, with, your, with your permission, we actually have the video. If we can show a little bit. This is an actual video of uh, Mr. DeMail in an event and he was calling every single individual out and he said when i call your name stand up obviously if they get if he gets it wrong they don't stand up but you will notice no one stays sitting down well there was one but he told him is your name x y i don't even remember and he's like yeah it's really my name he's like then get up <laughs> let's check out that quick video we'll be right back but as i call off your name if you would just stand up Diane Bigman, Jeff, Bill, Suzanne, Lynn, Gail, Wendy, David Hecht, David, Eddie Espiritu, Colleen, JD, Tammy Hodges, Steve, Manny Martinez, Rogers, Sumange, Diane, Romina, Diane, uh, Laurie, uh, uh, Jenny Howe. By the way, I missed Jennifer the last time I did this. <laughs> Maureen Wilson, Larry Beecham, Mike Hatch, and his two sons, Tim and Martin, uh, Dr. Uh, Ron Fountain, John Gray, John Pizzo, Teresa Scirocco, uh, Terry, I'm uh, sorry, last name starts with a U, uh, Denny, Katie, Gaiti, uh, Ron Gilock, uh, Greg. Uh, Is it not Greg? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, folks, I may not be perfect, but I am excellent. <laughs> You've heard it all your life. To be a success, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. But if you don't remember the names of the people you meet, they won't feel that you know them. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. Remembering people's names is the single most important interpersonal skill you can possess. Yet, almost everyone feels they are terrible at it. However, remembering people's names is far easier than you may think. The only reason you're bad at it is that you don't have a system that works for you. It has nothing to do with your ability, intelligence, or your age. Here's great news. There's a simple, fun, and easy way to instantly improve your ability to remember people's names. In my book, how to remember people's names, you get the simple step-by-step -step system that locks people's names into your memory like a steel trap. Imagine the level of unshakable self-confidence you'd feel. You'd gain the respect and admiration of others, and you'd earn more money. Get my book, How to Remember People's Names Today. The simple mental tricks you get inside work for everybody. And they'll work for you, too. That was insane, by the way. And and let me just tell you all, because I know what there's always one hater on comments. So that video looks like it's from back in the day. It is back in the day. However, I witnessed it in person in the room uh, last year in Florida when uh, you were a uh, guest speaker at the Great Discovery events. And I had the privilege to witness it. And I'm like, nah. Like literally, literally me, right? The, the, when, when we have the, nah, there's no way moment. That's where your neurons are like connecting and saying, get excited. Fireworks are happening. 
And uh, it was fascinating to see you walking across every single table. By the way, there were 13 tables of eight individuals or 10 individuals in each one of those tables. And he went one after the other, one after the other, and called every single person in that room. And everybody stood up. And it was, by the way, later on at the end of the day, while when he met everybody, it was earlier in the morning. So it was fascinating. Uh, and I even loved how you got a random person to come up on stage and you were like, I promise you, you're going to remember this whole numeric. It was a huge number. And you got her to repeat it based on a few different elements. So with that being said, Mr. DeMeo, and I'll, I'm going to come back to, to Learning Machine, obviously, because I'm very passionate about the tracks. But I speak five international languages. I write them, I read them, I speak them. I am, I, 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 I can pick up languages extremely easy. And I know that I focus on certain elements that trigger a memory part. Or I can literally go to Italy right now. I don't speak Italian, but I can go to Italy and I'll spend a week and I start identifying specific patterns that will remind me of either Spanish or French and connect it back to English. And I'm like, got it. And I'll start picking up the language. What is, I know it's a whole seminar, but I'm going to try to do my best. What is the secret of having the ability, because you literally teach anyone and everyone to start thinking faster, smarter, faster. What is the secret sauce of doing that? You actually mentioned it in passing when you were talking about your ability with languages. So there are two keys to being able to learn things really fast and retain it. And I want to focus on the ability to remember stuff. But before I tell you what those two things are, learning is actually a multi-step process. So the first part of the process when you're learning anything is you have to receive it first. You have to get it. If you don't get it, you can't keep it. And so you've got to pay attention. Next, you have to organize or um, you, you need to, to put the information into a format that makes sense for you. Uh, then you recall it and then you review it. So those are the four steps. You, re you receive the information, then you revise the information, then you recall the information, and then you review the information. I call it the four R's. Now, the secret to the recall part, to the memory part, can be summed up in two key ideas, one of which you already mentioned. And that is, number one, was connection. A lot of times people use the word association, mm -hmm. which if it was a good word, you'd be able to use it better. It, association that doesn't really mean anything to you, but the word connection does. So the way you remember stuff is by building things like, you, like you're playing with Legos or, or when I was a kid, Tinker Toys. And Ali, what you said a moment ago was if you went to Italy, you would listen to the sound of the Italian and then you would connect it to the sound of words you know from Spanish or Portuguese. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're taking information that's brand new and finding places that you can connect it to things you already know. Correct. So one of the techniques is connection. Our minds are a connecting machine. Hence, association. I'm associating this with that. When you're, when you, you have children, and when your oh, kids yes. were really, really little, or those of you that are watching or listening, if you have grandchildren or nieces and nephews or even the kids next door, watch how little kids, as they're learning something new, will say things like, you mean it's like, you mean it's like, <laughs> like, this is like that. There's a connection between them. This is how your mind works. All right. So the next important thing is to use imagination. The greatest power that human beings have been blessed with is imagination. All human creation stems first from imagining it. Now, 
Look at the word imagination. It is a lengthened form of the word image. Mm -hmm. What's an image? Those are the pictures you hold in your head. Where do you see the pictures that you hold in your head? Now watch this. You already know the answer to this, but nobody ever told you about this before. When you see pictures in your head, you don't see it in the top of your head or in the side of your head or in the back of your head. You see it on the movie screen inside the front of your forehead. So now you have a movie screen where if you're going to create these images, now I want you to be able to deliberately sit in your movie theater chair looking at your screen and see the picture. So for example, when I teach how to remember people's names, which is a, a real big one. In fact, it's the title of my most popular book, How to Remember People's Names. Take a wild guess as to what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> and it, this is a skill that everybody knows is important, but almost everybody says that they're not good at it because nobody ever taught you how to do it. So you just think you're naturally bad at it when the truth is, you just don't have any strategies. So take a look at the name Matt. When Let's make a connection. So we're going to make an image and then we're going to make a connection. What's a Matt? Well, uh, like a welcome Matt, you know, and I am always a welcome Matt. <laughs> or a wrestling Matt. When I was in high school, I was a wrestling Matt at four different weight classes. I have a buddy of mine from Quebec that used to, back when I was single, he used to call me Matador. And I would say, yes. Matt adores the girls and the girls adore Matt. And so <laughs> you can play games yeah. with names. I'm not saying to make fun of names. I'm saying to have fun with names. And so there's ways of making pictures out of people's names. And I actually teach four different ways to do it. Think about it. How do you remember any names now? If you have a, a brother or is it, so you're meeting somebody at a cocktail party and they have the exact same name as one of your parents or your brother or your sister. Your mind doesn't have to go through any contortions. You instantly in this, at the speed of thought, you go, Mark, I have a brother named Mark or Pat. My mom and dad were both named Pat. You don't have to do anything. Instantly, what happened was you had a connection and your image was the other person that you know with that name, your brother or sister or parent or maybe a character from a TV show. And so what I do is I, do, I teach you how to do this really fast, but doing it deliberately because right now, you're doing it haphazardly. You're doing it by accident. You're doing it occasionally. I tell you how to do it and teach you fun ways to do it on purpose with a purpose. Back to you. I love that. It's 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 phenomenal. And, and now that I'm looking back or thinking back, you know, I'll give you an example for you, the listener and the viewer. You know, in Arabic, the word shirt is kamija. Now, if you think about it in Spanish, it's camisa. It's the same exact thing. Though Spanish is a Latin language, Arabic is an Arab 3600 old language. And I can go on and on and on. You know, you think about sandals, right? In Moroccan, where I was born, sandala, but in Spanish, sandalia. So you have three different languages, totally different parts of the world, totally different origins, but they are interconnected. You know, and I can go on and on and on and on, but it is fascinating to think about it and break it down the way uh, that you just did. Now, let, let me get back to learning machine music that motivates you. Obviously, have the album uh, live in all streaming platforms, uh, Apple Music, Amazon, uh, anywhere really where there is music. Right. Spotify, going, Pandora, Spotify, uh, absolutely. Uh, 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 iTunes, all of them. Absolutely. And and by the way, we are going to put the link for everybody in the actual copy that goes along with this episode. So you can just click on it and go to the appropriate channel for yourself. But help us uh, with, is, are we expecting some visuals? Are we expecting a, uh, um, a, a visual side of things, a visual album? Um, what are we doing from for, for, for the listener to kind of keep the momentum going? Because the music is phenomenal, but I know you can always expand with your innovative brain. 
So on most of the streaming platforms, it's just the music, and I have the ability to upload lyrics, um, uh, which I have not done as yet. However, um, what I've done is I've put together an actual package of all 10 songs plus all 10 lyric videos that uh, have the, the lyrics animated on the screen in time with the music that makes it easy to learn, plus a static PDF that's been customized so that you can uh, more readily make the connection between which song uh, the lyrics go with uh, by the images. And it's all at a brand new uh, URL, music that motivates me.com. Music that motivates me.com. And so you'll be able to get everything, all the 10 songs, all 10 lyric videos, plus the custom PDF to make it easy to learn at music that motivates me.com. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and with that, we're going to take another musical break. The Will to Win is another sneak peek that you're going to want to check out. So we're going to play that. We're going to take also a little commercial break, and we will be right back with more of Matt DeMeo. I got the will to win. Nothing's going to break my stride. Reach out and touch the sky. You know how easy it is for a catchy song to get stuck in your head? Well, imagine high energy, upbeat music with lyrics that are specifically designed and crafted to inspire and motivate you. I'm proud to announce a real breakthrough in personal motivation. My new album, Learning Machine, music that motivates. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. For decades, I also worked as a professional rock keyboard player under the stage name Zed Maestro. I've performed on the bill with many internationally known acts. Using the latest technology, I've created this exciting new 10-track album with titles like I Believe in Myself, Focus on Fire, The Will to Win, and I Refuse to Lose. Those tracks, along with the others, were created to help students of all ages, from grade school to grad school. Even adult learners who are seeking professional certifications or just personal self-improvement. These songs will light a fire inside you as you sing these musical, positive, mental affirmations to yourself effortlessly and automatically. You can literally sing your way to a happier, more productive, and very successful new version of yourself. Get and stay motivated and inspired with Learning Machine, music that motivates. Tell me you are not loving love on that track as well. And I'm telling you, the whole album is just electrifying, is exhilarating, it's exciting, it keeps you going, it keeps you grooving, gets you in the right mindset, whether you're going to work out, whether you're going to study, whether you're going to work, whether you have a big project. Put those headphones on, put it in your car, put it wherever you can listen to music and you're going to thank me for it. I promise you that. All right, Matt DeMeo, welcome back. Uh, and um, I want to dig a little bit into a different side of who you are. So you've written uh, some books and two of them that I want to kind of talk about. Obviously, the obvious one is uh, how to remember people's uh, names. Uh, I, I believe I'm saying it the appropriate way, right? How to remember people's names. Correct. So, yes. <laughs> so the, the, that book itself, um, many of us would be like, well, that's, that's great. It's a great trick to have. It's more than a trick. It's actually business etiquette. I mean, how many times me and you, Rich, my business partner in here, we're like, what was that guy's name? What was that guy's name? I don't want to say his name wrong. I don't want to say his name wrong. And um, it makes a big difference when there is a period of time that you've had a business meeting or you've encountered somebody that you've done business with or even on a personal level. And you just say, hey, Matt, right? How you've been? And immediately you hear, oh, my God, you remembered my name. It tells the other part or, a party or partner or individual that you are important to me. So talk to me about why, first of all, you decided to write the techniques and the strategies and the tactics 
to remember people, people's names and how relevant is it for, for business specifically and everybody in general? First of all, being able to remember people's names is not merely a nice thing to do. It is the single most important social networking skill you can have. You've heard it all your life. To be a success, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. Who you know. Exactly. Yep. And But if you don't recall somebody's name, will they say that you know them? Do you really know? If you don't even know their name. So it is such an important skill. You would think that it should be taught the very first day of kindergarten. Okay, children. Okay, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn the names of the other children you're going to school with. But is that what happens? Nope. As a matter of fact, you've probably never taken a single class on how to do it. And that is really a shame. First of all, when you have the ability to remember people's names, it's like you have a real life superpower. When I do the stunt of re recalling a room full of people's names, it's not some magic trick. It's not magic. It just works like it. There's a secret to it. And the secret is making images and having connections. But it's like riding a bicycle. Nobody is born knowing how to ride a bicycle. But once you learn how to do it, you can go further and faster. The ability to remember people's names does some magical things for you. First of all, it gives you a feeling of unshakable self-confidence. Imagine being able to go into any social party, any business networking event, any chamber of commerce or JCs or, or Kiwanis Club or whatever organization you belong to. Imagine going to any company training or corporate event. Imagine going to any barbecue or social network. For those of you that are single, let me tell you, fellas, there is no better way to, to be in a bar than to be able to recall the names of the people that you're interested in, especially when you see them again. People are impressed and flattered that you remember their name. And it makes you look special. There is nothing you can do to gain the respect and admiration of others that's any more important than being able to remember lots and lots of people's names. They look at you and treat you differently. Just having the ability to do that they will respect you more. And isn't that worthwhile? And the cool part is, it's a lot of fun. It's a game that you play with people's names. You simply start asking yourself, how can I remember that name? And what I do is I see, simply teach you the mechanics of how to do it. You've heard it all your life. To be a success, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. But if you don't remember the names of the people you meet, they won't feel that you know them. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. Remembering people's names is the single most important interpersonal skill you can possess. Yet, almost everyone feels they are terrible at it. However, remembering people's names is far easier than you may think. The only reason you're bad at it is that you don't have a system that works for you. It has nothing to do with your ability, intelligence, or your age. Here's great news. There's a simple, fun, and easy way to instantly improve your ability to remember people's names. In my book, How to Remember People's Names, you get the simple step-by-step -step system that locks people's names into your memory like a steel trap. Imagine the level of unshakable self-confidence you'd feel. You'd gain the respect and admiration of others, and you'd earn more money. Get my book, How to Remember People's Names Today. The simple mental tricks you get inside work for everybody, and they'll work for you, too. And it makes, it really, truly makes a huge difference. I, I know for a fact the smile you put in everybody's uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I said this offline to Matt DeMeo and I, I will say it online. You genuinely 
always and forever, every time I've seen you talk to somebody or even me, you leave the person naturally feel just so much better about themselves. And it's genuine. Some people are really good at making that, you know, schmoozing an art just so they can get something out of you. But you genuinely, honestly, just have this, this organic, natural gift that you just make a person feel so much better about themselves. And now you top it up. I remember the name. You are an A-lister, my friend. Just, just want to say that. Thank you. You know, it, 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 what you just said really kind of taps into uh, one of my most important core rules for myself. One thing that I made a deliberate attempt to do when I was in my 20s is I said, I want people to like themselves more as a result of knowing me. And so it is something that it has been kind of a rule in my life that I want you to like yourself more as a result of knowing me. Well, you are, you are really, really good at that. And it's, it's, I hope somebody's taking, if you take in anything so far, other than the beautiful music that we've heard so far, pick that one part. Cause you know what all of us selfishly try to do? We try to get people to like us more. Oh, if they like you, they'll trust you. If they trust you, they'll, you know, like I, I get all of that. But imagine if I can make a person like themselves more just for interacting with me. My goodness, this world will be a much better place by default. Speaking of being a, 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 a class A of an individual, let's talk about the second book, which is Straight A Strategies for Successful Online Learning. This book has gone number one Amazon bestseller, and uh, I definitely want to dig into the relevance of the practicality from um it's more of a of a of a study guide uh than it is just a reading book talk to us a little bit about the creative side of things and why did you feel that it a was time for it and was relevant to put this book out for the marketplace back in 2020 when we had the lockdown students were thrown into a completely new world suddenly without any warning without any preparation Students, teachers, and parents had to face a new world of online classes. Now, I, I, I've been a fan of online classes for a long time, but learning online carries a series of not, just, not merely differences, but real challenges that don't exist when you're taking live classes. You don't have the interaction with the teacher. You can't raise your hand and ask a question all of a sudden. You don't have the interaction between you and the other students. You don't have a rigid class schedule. In, in truth, you get to study when you feel like it. Now, that's both the good and the bad. Remember, we were talking about fire earlier, you know, that it's great if it's warming you. It's bad if it's burning your house down. Right. Well, online classes are like that that you can study when you feel like it. But let me ask you this, when the heck do you ever feel like studying? And so as a result, many students struggle with it. And so what I did was I began to research the topic because on my YouTube channel, I wound up having students writing to me in the comments and some um, actually tracked me down on the internet and got my home phone number and called me and was like, I'm taking online classes. I don't know what I'm doing. Now, when I researched the market, there was tons of stuff for teachers about how to teach online. But there were zero books that I could find on how to be a good online student. So I did a video, and the, the reaction to the video was just overwhelming. And so what I did was I, I put the ideas from the video and I lengthened them and I put them into this tiny little book. This is a skinny little book. It's only 51 pages, including testimonials from cover to cover. This is a quick read. You sit down and you can read this in no time. And what I do is I address two sides of, uh, of taking online classes. The first thing that I do is I talk about how do you set yourself up? How do you give yourself the right surroundings, get yourself in the mood, get yourself organized, get the timetable down? And Because when you're taking live classes, you know where you're going. You know what time you got to be there. You've got assigned seating or at least an assigned classroom. You know what day and what time you're going to be there. and Things are already laid out for you. Well, at home, that's not the case. 
So how do you how do you handle all of that stuff? It's a lot of new stuff. So that's the first obstacle. The second thing is, what's when you're taking a, a, a live lecture compared to a pre-recorded lecture? How do you handle them differently? What if you have an online teacher that's just awful? What do you do? How do you take notes in the, the, the way that the information is delivered to you dependent on the, the a source document? Is the teacher just emailing you a PDF and expecting you to take notes from that? Do you have an online textbook? Do you have a physical textbook that you need to take notes from? How are your exams being handled? And so what I did was I broke down the process into these little bite-sized chunks. As soon as I published this thing, within two weeks, it was a number one Amazon bestseller. Now, it hasn't stayed a bestseller, but it was that fast that people realized, hey, there's nothing else out there like it. So not only did I write it as a book, but I also recorded it. And so you can also get it. Um, as an audio book. So, uh, so you, you, if you go to Audible, Dot com, you can get it on Audible. Now, something you mentioned earlier was how you and I met when you saw me remember a room full of people's names. It was at the launch of something called The Great Discovery, yes, where sir. you were the MC of the, of the event. And I was one of the featured speakers and um, had an opportunity to, to be there at the launch of this brand new e-learning platform. E-learning has now come into its own. There's a lot of different e-learning platforms out there. And so online learning is here to stay. And some platforms are better than others. The cool thing about The Great Discovery, um, as a matter of fact, if you go to thegreatdiscovery.com forward slash maestro, that's me, um, you can take a look at all of these different courses. They have tons of stuff for free. But one of the cool parts about it is we've broken the language barrier because we do instant simultaneous translation of every course that you could think of that's on our platform. It's over a thousand courses, almost 2000 courses are on the platform right now. Company only launched back in March. And so you can get an instant translation. Ali, not everybody is blessed with the ability to learn languages as fast as you. And it's an effort to learn that many different languages. So it's an effort for people to learn one extra language. Yeah. And so wouldn't it be nice to be able to eliminate the world's language barrier and have a nice, easy, effective way of having instant translation on pretty much anything that you want to learn. And so um, my courses, I have, a, I have a, a full blown course there called How to Have an Incredible Memory. And I break down the process of not just remembering names, but also what causes you to forget stuff in the first place. I call it the three causes of forgettery. If you understand why you don't have a good memory in the first place, then you're more than halfway to solving the problem. I talk about how do you remember numerical information? Because we're swimming in a world of numbers, not just times and dates, but those of you that are still students, you'll have formulas and historical information. Those of you that are investors, you've got prices that go up and down. Those of you that are in business, you've got inventory numbers and parts numbers and profit and loss numbers. And we're swimming in a world of numbers and almost nobody teaches you mechanical, easy to and fun techniques on how to recall massive amounts of information, whether it's lists of things, people's names, foreign vocabulary, numerical information. Here's an easy one. Where did you put your, did, have you ever put down your keys, your wallet, your phone, your eyeglasses, and then later on how to play treasure hunt, looking <laughs> for your stuff? While it's in your back pocket. <laughs> More people than ever before are taking classes online, but that's both good and bad. It's good because you can study anytime you want, but it's bad because, well, let me ask, how often does anyone actually feel like studying? Taking online classes has its own set of unique downsides and challenges. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. School tells you what to learn. I show you how to learn it.
In my book, Straight A Strategies for Successful Online Learning, you'll get a solid understanding of the differences and the downsides of taking classes online instead of sitting in a classroom. But more importantly, you'll discover how to deal with the important issues of time management and scheduling, the isolation from other students you'll feel, the best ways to set up your workspace, the differences between learning from live Zoom sessions compared to pre-recorded ones, even what to do if you have an instructor who is just bad at teaching online classes. This book is short, only 51 pages from cover to cover. Because the information inside is so specific and simple to apply, it became a number one Amazon bestseller within two weeks of its release. The ideas, strategies, and techniques you'll get inside Straight A Strategies for Successful Online Learning work for everyone, and they'll work for you, too. Order it today. So I teach you the, how to overcome all that stuff. Yeah. No, that's, that's phenomenal. And um, I, I do have to ask, I mean, the average listener will in some ways, if I may, may even feel intimidated, you know, like, wow, this learning how to remember everybody's names, creating, uh, you know, an AI album, like how, if, if you had an advice, this is somebody in the back of my pocket that texted me, please ask these questions for me, get me to hook up. So I'm going to try to get those golden nuggets from you right now. So if anyone want to start any project and they feel intimidated with the uh, nuances of the project. Like, hey, I don't know how to start recording AI. I don't know how to uh, cultivate a song. I don't know about uh, the, the 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 copyrights and the legalities of it. Can I monetize it? Where does one start there? Uh, and I got some follow ups on that. Well, it, it, this is this goes back to a conversation I was actually having with my daughter earlier today. Um, my daughter just graduated from Florida State with. Uh, uh, last year, she graduated with a double major, magna cum laude. And then this year, she graduated when she got her MBA. So she got her nice. MBA in under a year. So she's now starting her first job as a consultant for government agencies up in Tallahassee, Florida. Okay. And while she was being interviewed, the boss was asking her a lot of questions about her decision-making process. And he said something to her about... I say yes to a lot of projects. As a result, we wind up with a lot of clients. And I reminded my daughter of something I used to teach her. Say yes and figure out how later. Say yes. So I said to myself, you know, I, I want to practice what I preach about um, learning, learning new stuff. So I've got to, you know, push myself to continually learn new stuff and be able to hold myself up as an example, not just as some, some guy on a pedestal telling other people what to do, but actually doing it myself and leading by my own good example. So when it came time to learning how to do AI music, I said, yes, I want to learn how to do it. And it's called elephant eating. How do you eat an elephant? The same way you eat a hamburger one bite at a time. Hmm. And so I started with the simplest things first. You start with little things and you build on it. It's the same way a child learns how to do anything. Um, and we're, we're all built like this. But the problem is we get frustrated with ourselves. We start to beat ourselves up because we don't learn it all at one time. Well, that's not how it works. You got to learn it a little bit and then a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. Now, fortunately, I've learned strategies that speed the process up for me, but I learned the exact same way that you all do. I go, yep, I want to learn how to do that. So I make the decision, and then I just dig into it. I make a lot of mistakes, and I don't care. I don't, it, mistakes are irrelevant to me because I'm learning. Sometimes I'm learning what not to do. And so I'm not afraid to make the mistakes. I'm just willing to plow through the process. Just like when you learned how to walk as a baby, just like when you learned how to ride the bi your bicycle for the first time and you'd fall off and skin your knee or fall into the sticker bushes. <laughs> we all learn stuff the same way, a little at a time. I love it. I love it. And I, and I, and I appreciate that. Um, in terms of 
um, someone who might not have the resources or someone who might not have money or they are had a couple of rough years. I mean, look, let's call it for what it is. Economy hasn't been the best. Inflation has been an all-time high in recent years, at least. Uh, and there's a lot of divisiveness and a lot of ugliness in the world, whether it's from a political view of things or just everybody's hurting on their own that they don't have the capacity to see the positive. What is your message to that individual on, hey, buddy, fill in the blank? <laughs> well, first of all, um, I absolutely can sympathize with that, but there's been many times in my life when, um, when things were really, really rough financially. You know, I, I, like I said, I have the advantage of, of having lived a lot of years. You know, I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm 72, so um, I have the advantage of having a, a different kind of a perspective. So one of the things that I've done is I, I've created a YouTube channel, youtubecom forward slash Be Smarter Faster. So you can get an awful lot of the content that I teach for free. I give away a lot of ideas. And so there's really no excuse. I mean, if money is an obstacle, when you're getting it for free, that eliminates the obstacle. Now, of course, you know, you can, you know, connect with me, you know, to get, uh, you know, stuff that's paid. But I, I like to keep the stuff that I do very, very low cost. The majority of my audience is students, especially on my YouTube channel, is 18 to 24 year old college students, not noted for having pockets full of money. <laughs> and yeah. so I keep, I keep things, you know, for people that are low cost, no cost. And the, my album with the lyric videos combined together with the PDF of all of the lyrics, so all 10 songs, all 10 uh, lyric videos and the PDF, I sell for $14.95. So, uh, you know, uh, I know people who spend more than that on a latte and a, and a croissant. I'm, I'm just going to say it's cheaper <laughs> than custom coffee, a couple of cup of custom coffees. <laughs> yeah. Notice how I said, but real New Jersey coffee, uh, yeah, no, K-A-W-F-E-E -E, coffee. <laughs> by, by, by the way, so, you know, to, to be in your seventies, uh, God bless you. Um, and, and give you much more longevity. I know we spoke about this. Uh, you have genes of people who have lived a very, very long time. And I pray to God that you, um, break every record because we need more people like you on this earth. So, uh, I pray that we extend your life as much as humanly possible in the most health, uh, and abundance that you can have it. We're going to do this. We're going to take a one, uh, uh, last break. And when we do come back, we're going to dive on the visionary side of Mad DeMeo. We're going to talk about the future. We're going to talk about future projects. We're going to talk about what are we anticipating of the great himself, Mad DeMeo. And of course, I'm going to try to get some golden nuggets for you. You know how Believe easy it is for a catchy song to get stuck in your head? Well, imagine high energy, upbeat music with lyrics that are specifically designed and crafted to inspire and motivate you. I'm proud to announce a real breakthrough in personal motivation. My new album, Learning Machine, music that motivates. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. For decades, I also worked as a professional rock keyboard player under the stage name Zed Maestro. I've performed on the bill with many internationally known acts. Using the latest technology, I've created this exciting new 10-track album with titles like I Believe in Myself, Focus on Fire, The Will to Win, and I Refuse to Lose. Those tracks, along with the others, were created to help students of all ages, from grade school to grad school. Even adult learners who are seeking professional certifications or just personal self-improvement. These songs will light a fire inside you as you sing these musical, positive, mental affirmations to yourself effortlessly and automatically. You can literally sing your way to a happier, more productive, and very successful new version of yourself. Get and stay motivated and inspired with Learning Machine, music that motivates. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'll leave you there with the ME Show here in the ME Studios um, uh, with the, the man, the myth, the legend, all in one body, Zed Maestro, a.k.a. Mr. DeMaio. So uh, let's get into 
the future. I believe that you are a legacy driven human being. In other words, you don't do anything just to do it for the sake of monetization, but you actually do it with intent to impact everything and everyone. I believe that we've seen in our lifetime many iconic moments that we didn't realize they were iconic when they were happening. Like we are the world and we are the children until further, further later on. Uh, we've seen many moments that companies and movements were created that we didn't appreciate them while they were being created. And I believe that this is an iconic moment that you are initiating, whether it is with learning machine music that motivates or future projects that are related to it. But I'd love to dig into that genius brain of yours and hear a little bit about your vision, about you, your future, and what the next biggest impactful moves that we should anticipate from Matt DeMeo. Well, first of all, I have great expectations for learning machine music that motivates. I, I really hope that it becomes a really popular album. Uh, depending on you know how well it's received, will uh, influence the level of motivation that I have to create more. I'm I'm hoping to be able to create you know follow up albums to that. In addition, on my YouTube channel, I have been really exploring much more detailed topics. So one of my most recent videos was on for people that take really difficult multiple choice exams. There's a, a couple of really world class difficult exams like the JEE advanced or the CSE in India, or the Chinese have the Gao Kao. Uh, here in the United States, we've got the uh, MCAT for medical school, the LSAT for law school. We've got the series seven. Um, and so there are some really tough exams out there. And so I've been digging into a lot more research uh, and more research driven content that provides the best strategies to help people do well with the things that they have to do for business, not just for school, not just to get a good grade, but really to either get into a good school or to, to help fulfill their life's purpose, to help them qualify for the next level of, of their lives. And then I am looking to, uh, to write a, a few more books. I have a, a series called Straight A Strategies in Mind. So one, the, the first one that I was able to articulate was for successful online learning, but that the Straight A Strategies is actually part of the student success system. And yes, I like alliteration. <laughs> uh, so the student success system is going to be a series of books and courses where I really kind of codify all of these different techniques that I talk about on my YouTube channel, but get into more detail than I can cover in a five or eight minute YouTube video. So those are some of the things to look forward to there. So just more of the stuff that I've been doing and um, and hopefully that the, the I'll be rewarded with a, with a significant audience that appreciates what I'm doing. Uh, that's what keeps me going on YouTube is the testimonials that I get from my viewers. I know that I'm making a difference. And, you know, you mentioned the idea of legacy. Well, at this age, you know, if, if I were a baseball game, I'd be in the seventh inning. And so, um, I am very much legacy focused. What can I leave behind that will, what, what ideas and content and benefits can I leave behind to benefit those that go on when I'm no longer here? Uh, well, that'll be a long, long time because there's plenty of baseball for you to play. I hey, uh, you do so much for so many individuals. Um, if there were individuals out there with the right resources or the right uh, skill set or the right collaborations that you may be needed, uh, who would you like to collaborate with and at what capacity? Uh, the younger generation, content creator, someone who could use your music to develop their own content? What do you foresee? First of all, um, I really like the idea of birds of a feather flocking together. So there are two groups. Number one, other AI musicians. You know, if, if you're, uh, I, I would love to collaborate on doing some AI music or at least hearing what, you know, what, what you've got. Um, I am looking at maybe really expanding 
the, my uses for AI music into creating themes for specific companies or continuing to find ways to help, help motivate or, uh, students to learn better. The other thing is I'm looking for content creators, other course creators that would like to establish a worldwide market. I mentioned this company, this e-learning platform called The Great Discovery. I would very much like to connect with other content creators, regardless of where you live, because I can help you reach a truly worldwide audience even without a marketing or advertising budget. We have a, a new way of helping you attract customers that works better than anything else out there. And so if you're looking to, if you have good ideas that you would like to leave a legacy yourself and you would like to create a course but don't know how, or you have a course created but you're not able to market it, or you're marketing it on some of these platforms that where they're charging you $100, $150, $200 a month, like I was, and you want to be on a platform where there is no monthly fee and you have worldwide access, please connect with me. Um, and you can learn more at thegreatdiscovery.com forward slash maestro. And maestro is spelled M-A-E-S-T-R-O. Are you an author, speaker, trainer, or course creator who would like to expand your sales to a truly worldwide audience? We can instantly translate all your content into over 100 languages and also provide you with a global team of affiliates who will happily market your content for you without you having to pay any upfront advertising costs. Best of all, there are zero monthly fees. For more information without obligation, visit me at thegreatdiscovery.com forward slash maestro. You heard it from the maestro. I, I, I got a, usually I do a million dollar question and it's usually a very practical question, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'll tell you what I usually ask, right? So the million dollar question is usually if you were to lose everything that you have, assets, resources, credibility, influence, you don't have access to money, you don't have access to any network, you don't know anyone, and you would have to start from all over again from scratch, what would you do? But I'm not going to ask you that because you are don't up here. That. You are question. up here. Now, I'll, <laughs> you'll figure it out. Here's my question to you. You are one of the most happiest human beings that I've ever met, and you're a human being. In other words, I know you probably get upset like Many of us, every now and then, you get frustrated with life. Um, how do you sustain that million-dollar smile that you always have? It's so contagious, and everybody feels the genuine uh, energy from it. So so is there a routine that Matt DeMeo has to kind of keep a happy self, or or is just, I am what I am? I, it's kind of the Popeye approach. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got to say, uh, certainly when I'm in public, I'm I am more on um, on my best behavior. You know, my wife gets to see the maybe the the not so happy sides of me, but for the most part, you know, I am I, I am a, a genuinely a positive, upbeat, happy person. You know what I am? I'm grateful. Um, I am I am a very grateful person. I wasn't always this way. Back in my 20s, I was uh, resentful and, and growing up in my teens and 20s, you know, I harbor a, a, a lot of anger and resentment and, and nonsense. And it was by taking lots of personal development classes and really looking inside myself and really making an effort to, to change the type of a person that I was and to become who I admire. You know, I, 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 I I, and uh, Ali, quite frankly, I never really thought of it before. You know, you're making me think of think of myself in a, a different way. But um, that's why they call that's why they call it the million dollar question, my friend. I caught you off guard. No one sees it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and and so I think it's just by continuing, like I said about learning before, just you know, one foot in front of the other, step by step, just continuing to move in the direction of people that I admire and people that I respect and attempting to be the person that I think God wants me to be. I don't want to yeah. get all religious because I don't, I know people come from a lot of different viewpoints, but 
I am a very strong believer in God, and I want to be the person that God wants me to be. Yeah. No, I, I love that. Have you ever met people and five minutes later can't remember their names? Ever put down your keys, wallet, eyeglasses, or cell phone only to go crazy searching for them later? Ever park your car and then fly into a panic because you don't remember where? Having a poor memory is no joke. Here's a simple way to triple your memory power without taking medicine or using association, mnemonics, or any other memory tricks you've ever heard of. Best of all, it's free. Simply go to startremembering.com. And uh, you feel it. It is absolutely felt. Mr. DeMeo, as we're coming towards the end of uh, today's episode, I want to thank you on behalf of not only the ME Studios and our uh, internal team in here, uh, Chief Production Officer uh, Rich Tomes and myself. Um, you know, we, we caught ourselves nodding our heads and smiling many times as you were educated. And truly, uh, we caught ourselves looking at each other with the smiley, funny nod like, uh, you know, you do that. No, you do that when you, uh, you know, we're talking about a few different parts of what truly makes you, as you call yourself, an enter trainer, not just, a, you know, a trainer or an entertainer. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for sharing and double down and on what is available in terms of resources, whether it is your your, your best-selling book, uh, whether uh, the absolute incredible uh, album that you've graced us with, uh, Learning Machine Music that motivates, uh, and of course, just you being who you are. And by the way, in terms of the great discovery, it has changed my life since 2017. It was the best thing that I have ever done. It taught me everything that I have learned thus far when it comes to consulting, training, building companies, and uh, I am forever grateful. So when that man says you need to go to thegreatdiscovery.com forward slash maestro, you want to make sure you check him out uh, because it is a gift that will forever keep on giving. And with that, I would like to give you, sir, the final minute to send us off as we are saying peace out, everybody to the world. Final remarks before we wrap it up. You know, everything that I teach takes a little bit of work and effort, but I promise you it's worth it. Folks, always remember that the fastest way to get to the top is to get off your bottom. Thanks for having me, Ali. <laughs> we love him. We appreciate him. And we love and appreciate you. Remember, for you, just to subscribe and uh, definitely click on the links that are in the captions, uh, whether you're subscribed to uh, Mr. DeMeo's uh, YouTube channel or you purchase any of his books or you opt in or you purchase any of his albums, we're going to be giving away vacations. That's right. We have a few vacation giveaways for lucky winners. So just make sure you make your purchase and you let Mr. DeMeo and his team that, hey, I bought a book or, hey, I bought the album or, hey, I bought a course or hey i enrolled in the great discovery and we will make sure that we hook you up with four nights five days to mexico all inclusive we cannot take the taxes off of course because it's illegal to incentivize paying taxes but you cover your taxes but we will get the nightly stay we get the food and we get the actual beverage itself four night five days in mexico and uh you just got to make a purchase and uh, we'll hook you up so with that we love and appreciate you and until next time peace out everybody you know how easy it is for a catchy song to get stuck in your head? Well, imagine high energy, upbeat music with lyrics that are specifically designed and crafted to inspire and motivate you. I'm proud to announce a real breakthrough in personal motivation. My new album, Learning Machine, music that motivates. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. For decades, I also worked as a professional rock keyboard player under the stage name Zed Maestro. I've performed on the bill with many internationally known acts. Using the latest technology, I've created this exciting new 10-track album with titles like I Believe in Myself, Focus on Fire, The Will to Win, and I Refuse to Lose. Those tracks, along with the others, were created to help students of all ages, from grade school to grad school. Even adult learners who are seeking professional certifications or just personal self-improvement. 
These songs will light a fire inside you as you sing these musical, positive, mental affirmations to yourself effortlessly and automatically. You can literally sing your way to a happier, more productive, and very successful new version of yourself. Get and stay motivated and inspired with Learning Machine, music that motivates. You've heard it all your life. To be a success, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. But if you don't remember the names of the people you meet, they won't feel that you know them. Hi, Matt DeMeo here. Remembering people's names is the single most important interpersonal skill you can possess. Yet, almost everyone feels they are terrible at it. However, remembering people's names is far easier than you may think. The only reason you're bad at it is that you don't have a system that works for you. It has nothing to do with your ability, intelligence, or your age. Here's great news. There's a simple, fun, and easy way to instantly improve your ability to remember people's names. In my book, How to Remember People's Names, you get the simple step-by-step -step system that locks people's names into your memory like a steel trap. Imagine the level of unshakable self-confidence you'd feel. You'd gain the respect and admiration of others, and you'd earn more money. Get my book, How to Remember People's Names Today. The simple mental tricks you get inside work for everybody, and they'll work for you, too.